Now to question number 8 of NACP 2019-20. In this question, we have been given a simple pendulum of length 300 centimeter and a small spherical bob of mass 100 gram is attached at this lower end. Point of suspension happens to be point S. Look at over here. The point of suspension is S and the length of the thread L is equals to 300 centimeter while the mass of the bob is equals to 100 gram. Now the bob is pulled from the position of rest to a point A so that the linear amplitude becomes 25 centimeter. Now over here the bob has been pulled from its initial position to new position A and the linear amplitude happens to be 25 centimeter. Okay that's fair. What we have been asked, we have been asked to find the angular amplitude in radians and also increment in the potential energy of the bob. Now you see in this case, this will be the angular amplitude. Now here, the value of sine theta equals to ma upon sa and this is equals to 25 centimeter divided by 300 centimeter and this turns out to be 1 by 12. Now because this value is a small and hence or theta is approximately equals to 1 by 12 radians and this is equals to 0 0.083 radians. This is first part of the answer. Now we have been asked to find the increment in potential energy. This happens to be the reference line. The potential energy is assumed to be zero at this point. So the increment in potential energy delta u this is equals to u final minus u initial and this is same as u final and this happens to be equals to mgh. If the length of the thread is l so this sm this value of sm this got to be equals to l cos theta and hence it could be rewritten as mg the value h is equals to how much this is h so this is l so l minus l cos theta should give us h so this is l bracket 1 minus cos theta in the next part angle theta is a small and hence cos theta can always be replaced by 1 minus theta square by 2. So this expression should become mgl 1 minus 1 plus theta square by 2. Now substitute all the values in MKS in SI unit system. The mass is 100 gram. Substitute this to be 0 0.1. The value of g is, let's substitute 10. And the value of length, length is equals to 3 meters. 1 and 1 will cancel and theta is equals to 1 by 12. So that makes 1 by 12 multiplied by 1 by 12. This and this is a factor of 2 that should also come in the denominator. Now this multiplication is 1 and 3 1s are 3 4s are effectively this is equals to 1 divided by 96. Assume this to be denominator to be approximately 100. So this turns out to be 0. 0, 0.01 joules. Let's see. Let's check the answer. So it assumes it appears. It appears that this op option B is correct. This is value of theta in radians and this is value of incremented potential energy in joules. Thank you.